So this is the J Base group. Greg Cooper, Patrick Payne, Ian Mears, Pete Schellenbach, and I'm Bruce Decker from Zoomasis. Okay, so dynamic files. Who's who's doing dynamic files? Oh, that'll be Greg. That'll be me. Greg, are you doing everything? <laughs> it seems What's like. he doing? <laughs> He's fixing my bugs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I, <clears throat> I, write the, I write the code and then he fixes it. <clears throat> Dynamic files are an, another. There you go. Make yourself useful. <laughs> You've just seen a salesman do something useful. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Uh, Dynamic files are another thing that customers have been asking for. Um, the idea of having to create a, a modulo and separation for all your files is um, a bit of a pain and some customers have a procedure every week to resize their hash files um, but to do that you've got to have a time on the system when nobody's using the system and not all companies have that they just don't have any out time they're running 24 hours a day um, there's one large customer with 200 sites, um, a lot of their support calls they get are because the system's going slow. And when they look into it, the system's going slow because the customer isn't resizing the file. So what we now have are um, dynamic files where you don't provide a modulo um, and it, it just works itself out. It works exactly like old hash files. You don't need to do anything or recompile anything or nothing. Just that they are just there and you can forget about them. Uh, they're more resilient to errors than the old hash files were. And the exciting thing is, is that they actually perform better than the old hash files. So if you take a perfectly sized hash file and compare it to our new dynamic file, our new dynamic file will work at least as quick as the old file. And sometimes, you know, a margin of twofold or threefold quicker so we're very excited by the performance of it as well. Um, disk space is about on par with a well-sized hashed file. So all the measurements we've done of the new dynamic type versus the old type are very, very favorable. And that's assuming you've got a hash file that's correctly sized. Once you, you start having hash files where they've been undersized or oversized, then the new type completely outperforms them. And, and they're just maintenance free. So we're, we're, we'll be very happy to get that in place and a, a lot of customers will. You know, it's a, it's a create and forget sort of file. And you, you'll just create it once and that's it. You won't need to do any maintenance on it. It sounds too good to be true, right? It is too good to be true. But then that's what they said about London Pride. And this, <laughs> this appears to be very, very true. Or, or I'm in the matrix. Uh, one of the two. <laughs> okay. I'm going to trust you on this one. Okay.